Sadin had for him. Khadija Madina to Sako Heke Dija. Khadija Sako, five years old, raped to death. Khadija is one of the thousands of girls who are victims of this rape pandemic. Joining us today is a journalist from Sierra Leone and one of the protesters of Khadija's death. So don't go away. You're protesting in Sierra Leone right now and this is because of the, the rape cases that have been on the increase. Even though your first lady started the campaign, hands off our girls and that there have been laws put in place to fight this this uh, rape pandemic that has been ongoing. There has still been an increase in these this cases. And the latest one that has sparked this protest is the, the case of Khadija, who was raped to death. And uh, yeah, can you please tell us what's going on in Sierra Leone? Well, um, it was very hard to hear for us and very sad moment for us as a nation. So also to know that a um, five-year-old Khadija was um, allegedly raped and um, which resulted to her death. Um, after the post-mortem results, we dis discovered that um, she was raped and that also resulted to her death. And you spoke about the First Lady um, implementing the Hands of Our Girls campaign, which is a campaign that gears towards protecting the girl child and there has been a lot of advocacy around protecting the girl child in terms of rape and other sexual offenses um, in the country. And also, not only that, um, we saw last year where His Excellency the President Julius Marabio declared a state of emergency on rape. And also, we um, of recent, Parliament has enacted the Sexual Offenses Act um, into law, which will now give um, perpetrators of rape life imprisonment. And, uh, but in as much as all this effort being done by government, the issue of rape continues to be in the increase in Sierra Leone. And recently is of this um, five-year-old Khadija Sako, which today a lot of Sierra Leoneans we are in, in black are protesting within the Frita municipality for justice in terms of um, the death of Khadija. And um, today it was um, this morning when a lot of protesters from different organizations in the country um, that are working for the interests of children and human rights came together and said, let us go out and show how we can demonstrate for Khadija, how we can ensure that we protest for this particular thing that has happened. And this is not only for Khadija now, but for others who have suffered from rape. And it was very, very colorful today as people were out in the street and um, in this morning, as 18 of them were arrested by the Syrian police, um, was stumbled for the intervention of other people. They were able to, they, they were released. So I think um, that is um, um, all that has been done. So they were out in the streets to ensure that there is justice, because this is not the first time we've had cases of rape in the country. There has been a lot of cases of rape, and black, at the, uh, last year we they initiated the Black Tuesday campaign which was again an issue that has to do with an alleged five-year-old girl that was raped. So, and that is presently in India and, and struggling for, 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 for survival because she went through a lot, you know. So these and many other issues are in our country presently today. So people were out in the street protesting and say, we want justice. Let justice prevail because in the past, we've not been seeing justice coming from the side of government in handling the issue of perpetrators. We have the laws, we have everything, but implementation of those laws is the problem in our country. Right, thank you so much. Personally, what do you think is the cause of these, these, this increase in rape cases since all these laws and all these campaigns have been put in place and the, the cases are still rising? So what do you think is the, the problem? I think the enforcement of the laws is a problem in Sierra Leone. We have the laws. And this is not the first protest that people are doing uh, in terms of protesting for rape case. We had um, the Asma James Foundation, they did a protest which they called the Black Tuesday. It was again an alleged five-year-old girl that was raped. So this is not the first time that this thing has been happening in Sierra Leone. For us, I think um, the implementation of the laws is a problem. We have the laws, we have the stringent law being put in place by government. Parliament has enacted the sexual 
this act, we have um, other laws that are there to protect the girl child. But the problem is the enforcement of this law. So it is when we are start to see government enforcing the laws that are there to protect the girl child. I think we have seen a new tone in terms of fighting rape in the country. Because it's not all about going to the media, we talk about rape, you go there, rape is not good, go there, rape is not good, or for us to come and say, if you rape, you'll be killed, if you rape, you this still will happen to you. And people need to say that if you say once you are raped, you'll be sentenced to life imprisonment, let us see an example being set. So people can know that if there is a real, there is a, a laid down principle, laid down example being set, I think people start realizing that what we are doing is not good. But what, one of the things you see, once there's an issue of rape, you see governments making commitments, the issue will be sent to courts. By the time you know it, they will start adjourning the matter, and that is how the case will just die down. People will start asking, what is wrong? You know, so this is the problem. We want to see a judiciary that is proactive in fighting for the cause of women and girls. We want to see not a judiciary that will just come and talk. We want to see the a judiciary that will, that will act on those laws. Because Parliament has enacted the laws. So we want to see now the judiciary coming and enforcing these laws. I think if there is an enforcement of these laws, then we will be able to eradicate rape in our country. If not only eradicate it, but to be able to mitigate rape in our society. Very true. Very true. Um, one of the things I want to say as mothers, let us ensure that we are able to protect our children. As a mother and father, you are there to protect your children. Ensure that you protect them. And uh, I think I want to send my condolence to the Buri family of um, Khadija Sako. I think um, this is a very, very hard trend in something that has happened to them. And as a nation, we want to say we are, we will stand with them and ensure that justice prevailed because this is what we want to see. We want to ensure that perpetrators of rape have been brought to book. Gone are the days that people just um, um, commit rape offenses and scot free. We want to ensure that all those who are engaged in rape should be brought to book. And to our children, our girls, you know, when, when you look at it again, for people like five year old, you cannot talk to them. You cannot able to advise them that this and this is what you should do. Many times people do say many girls have been raped because of their dress code, but I do not stand on it. You cannot tell me that you're going to rape a girl because of her dress code. You as a man, you should be self-controlled. So what can you say about Khadija? Is it because of her dress code? What can you say about three hours child that is raped? What can you talk, talk about two years old? So many a times people still complaining that oh, due to the dress code of our girls today, that is why the rape is in the increase. But that is not an excuse. You go to a country like America, you see girls dressing naked, walking in the streets. But who dare you to go and rape them? Because why? Because there are laws. And not only the laws, they are enforcing their laws. So everybody is afraid to tamper with them. Everybody is afraid to rape any girl in America and other countries. So in the aspect of saying, oh, it's because of the, the dress code of our girls today, I do not want to stand on that particular thing. Okay? Let us man be a man. There are so many women out there. Why going out for those small, small petty girls? There are times I just take it as some are doing it for each ones because as a as, as a sober-minded person, I cannot look at two-year-old girl, a five-year-old girl, and go and get sex with her. What pleasure will you have getting sex with two-year-old girl, five-year-old girl? So these are what we are saying. I think there should be more community sensitization on the aspect of rape. Let us try to ensure that we talk to our colleagues. Let us try to ensure that we increase the advocates on rape issues. I think if we do all those things, we're able to combat rape in our country. Because rape is not good. Rape kills the future and the destiny of our girls. Who's know Khadija was one of the girls due to, for what, from investigation, she was always saying, I want to become a doctor. And it's only after the coronavirus she will be fleeing to the United States where she will continue her, her schooling till she became a doctor. And today, she's gone. Today, she's gone. 
all the vision, all the dreams she had about transforming society. Who knows, maybe she could have become a, a greater doctor that could have come and served this country in Sierra Leone. But today she is gone. And this is not only for Khadija. There are others who are there. Others who are, are crying. You have some ch children that are crying, that have been raped, but there is nobody to speak for them. The law is not there to fight for them. There is no justice for them. I think this is a call on our government to ensure that let us ensure that we give justice to those people victim of rape. And all those perpetrators, they should be brought to book. How will you feel for a man to rape you and at the end, you are still living with that man in the same society? You're still living with the man. You'll be walking around. You look at the man. This is the man that raped me. That trauma. It, 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 it's very, very painful. It's very hard to to our girls. For you to see somebody has raped you, you are seeing them. The psychological problem that they'll have. A lot of complications that a girl will have once she has been raped. You know, today, I really said tears when I was at the, at the scene where the protesters, one of the protesters was a victim of rape. She was highlighting her experience being raped. You feel pity. You cry. You said tears when you hear people telling you about their story who are victim of rape. This is a very serious issue. And this is a very, very serious matter. And today, for now, I want to say we want to commend the office of the Antony General Minister of Justice for her proactiveness in coming out and talk to the protesters. Because today, all of them were in the streets and there was nobody to address them. Everybody, police officers, we are just harassing them. At the earlier stage, 18 of them were arrested. Why? Because they went out to be a protest, a peaceful protest. They were not having no arms or anything. Just fly cards with megaphones and all. 18 of them were arrested. But thank God for the intervention of the um, um, Minister of Justice and other people, they were released. So this is what we are saying. Let us see the commitments coming from government. Let us see the political will coming from government. So at the end, we are able to combat again in our entire society. Thank you so much. Thank you. I, I, my heart goes out for Khadija's family. This is a very, very horrible thing that can happen to anyone. And um, I commend you and all the, all the other protesters. Just keep it going. Keep it going. This is this is the only way we can make a change. You know, to keep speaking up and creating awareness about it. So yeah, I really, really appreciate what you and the others are doing. Just keep it going, and I wish you all the best. All the best. Okay. Thank you. All right. Take care.